Hi, in this lecture, we are going to learn about dashboard view of our vRealize login site appliance. In this lecture, we'll go and learn how do we go and create our own custom dashboards or shared dashboards which can be shared to a team of members. And then we'll go and see that what all the default content pack dashboards are available with the installation of vRealize login site appliance and what all the capabilities we get it from those additional content pack dashboards other than the default one so with that let's get started now as you could see that this is our vRealize login site appliance login ui so let's provide the credentials give the username as admin provide the password of our admin user click here to login and as you could see that as soon as we log into our vRealize login site appliance it actually lands up to the dashboard view of our vRealize login site appliance and it's a very intuitive dashboard now what we're going to focus about in this particular lecture about all of these options what do we see in the left pane now before we go and talk about creating our own custom dashboards and shared dashboards let's understand what all the content pack dashboards are available as a part of our vRealize login site appliance deployment so if you do see that currently when we go and deploy our vRealize login site appliance we get this default content pack dashboards now what are the now what are these content pack dashboards now content pack actually gives us a lot more capabilities in terms of monitoring and analyzing all of those errors and events in the, the respective infrastructure it not only limited to our vSphere related products or vSAN or NSX related products but we can extend vRealize login site to a non vSphere environment product like monitoring your Linux systems monitoring your Windows systems and so on so forth now Linux systems content pack dashboards or Windows system content pack dashboards are not available by default as a part of vRealize login site appliance but as we we proceed further with our discussions on vRealize login site appliance we will be seeing that how could we go and integrate Linux content packs or the various content packs which are available in the marketplace as of now if you do see that that's a very first content pack dashboard what we are having it is general so that's a general content pack dashboard which comes as a by default with the vRealize login site appliance now if you do see that the default view whatever we are seeing it here it's actually coming from a general content pack dashboards and that's the overview section now if you look at this particular dashboard it giving us information about number of events by host name number of error events by host name number of exception events by host name but now it only giving us that information in a much more pictorial representation identifying every host with this color code as you do see that but now if i want to go and debug further that what are this number of events i do see that what if i want to know that what are those events which are actually getting generated by these respective host and most importantly what are those number of events which are actually generated by these host name and that's where you have to go and click on the problems so problem section is something which actually gonna give us a lot more information about those events so look at that as soon as we click on problems so it actually gives us count of events by host name so now if you do see that on the x axis we have the host name sa esxi 01 02 03 and sb esxi 01 and so on so forth now if you do see that it's pretty obvious that as when you hover on that the first one it actually gives us information that this particular host sa esxi 01 is actually generating 886 count of events if you hover on the second host you do see that it is actually generating 822 events and so on so forth as you do see that so it's so intuitive to know that which is the host contributing a lot many events in this particular dashboard now if you want to know further about those events and that's where the next section talks about unique error events types by event type so now it's gonna give us information about what are those error events which are actually generated by these many which actually generated by these Host. and if you look at that it says that the very first event if you do see that this is the timestamp so it talks about the timestamp then it talks about the host who is generating that event then it talks about the application whether it's a host the vpx or maybe the bunch of applications right so which application is actually generating that particular event then it talk about the 
the information about that event whether it's an info event whether it's an error event whether it's a warning event and so on so forth and then it gives us information a lot more about that particular event so now if you do see that this particular event is actually coming from a vpx user vsphere.local user now similarly if you do see that there is a count out there so what does that mean that's one of the very important capability of we realize log and site appliance what we call it as the intelligent grouping you could consider this as a deduplication what we have seen in the storage world so the good thing about the we realize log and site appliance how it makes troubleshooting so easier because if you go and try to see or browse through the vpxd or vpx or hostd logs you will be seeing bunch of events in those logs which are keep flooding and that gets really difficult to figure it out that what is the exact event which is causing these kind of issues in the environment now what this we realize log and site appliance does it actually has a machine learning algorithm inbuilt and it try to group together all of those similar events into a single event and that's where this count is all about it so if you look at this count number is 30 what does that mean it's saying that this particular event has been seen in those logs 30 times but it's not showing us all of those 30 events in a, in a duplication mode where it just showing us a single unique event with the count as 30 so isn't it simplified so don't you think so it's really simplified our troubleshooting aspects of v is fair infrastructure or virtual infrastructure it really simplifies analyzing and troubleshooting the issues in the vSphere environment now let's look at the next error event so it says that this particular is the timestamp and this particular event has been generated from sbesxi01.govmlab.local from the application io filter vpd as you do see that and then the event is about ssl connection error and this particular event has been observed 14 times so now similarly you could see that there are a bunch of events out there and it really simplifies our life in terms of troubleshooting or root causing issues in our virtual infrastructure now the next section talks about unique error event types by event trend so now if you do see that this is about the event type like what all the events are being seen on those logs and they have been grouping as a unique event in this particular dashboard now the next section talks about event trends now what does that mean now as we discussed we realize log insight appliance has a machine learning algorithm running in the back end continuously doing the scrubbing of the logs and it actually go and try to figure it out that what all the events which are keep increasing so we are seeing a trends where these particular events are continuously increasing and that's where it gives us a lot more good insights about our virtual infrastructure and we should be looking at those trends which are continuously increasing in our infrastructure right so if you look at this very first event it says that it actually generated by sa esxi03 host on this particular timestamp that is the host the application that event type is info as you do see that and now if you want to get a lot more detail about that event it gives us that http connection read field while waiting for that particular ip address and there is a timeout exception what do we see that and now if you do see that there is a upwards arrow so now because these trends might be might be going upwards might be going downwards and that's where this arrow help us to figuring it out that okay these are the trends what do we see in our infrastructure but are these trends are increasing or decreasing and that's the information you can get it from this particular arrow so now when you do see that there is the upward arrow which means that these events are increasing similarly you might see the downwards arrow which means that these events are decreasing we are seeing the decrease in the trends of these kind of events when you do see the plus sign which means that these events are static either neither are increasing nor they are decreasing so now that's what its event trend is all about it and if you want to see that uh, uh, maybe let's look at the other event so this event says that this event is actually generating from sa esxi02 host and it's it been seen on this particular timestamp as you do see that it is actually generated by who's the application the type is info and it gives us information about that's our vsphere.local vpxd extension new error before the previous is handled Similarly, you do see that on this particular SA ESXi03 host, we are do see that there is something with the storage things and those device accessibility is failing. And similarly, we do see error file not found on that particular host and so on, 
so forth. So now, as you could see that it's such a powerful product or tool what VMware has come up with to give us or simplify our life as a vSphere admin to troubleshoot and analyze the actual problems in our vSphere environment. And it really simplifies troubleshooting the issues with this such a uh, intuitive dashboard rather than looking at those logs and, and scrubbing through those logs, which is a really a painful thing to do it. Now the next option, what do we have it is the event types. So now event types, if you do see that it talks about count of events by host name, which we have already seen in the problem dashboard as well. Then it talks about unique events by event type. And if you do see that earlier, it was 300. Now it's 308. So you do see that these events are keep increasing. Then there's a unique error events by event type, which we have already discussed about it. And now if you do see that there is something called unique exception events type by event exception. So as of now, we don't see any exceptional events in this particular infrastructure. That is the reason it says that there is no results. And if you do see that the warning events by event type. So now if you do see that, look at that earlier one having a type as info type as error as you rightly see it here. But now it's talking about a different uh, widget, which actually giving information about the warning event types. And how do we know it's warning event types? Because we realize log insight has a capability to read a logs in a much more intelligent way. And it bucketize all of those logs in different categories for simplified troubleshooting. So that's where if you do see that these events are having a type as warning. And that's the reason we can actually go and look at those warning events in this particular widgets. So that's where the event types uh, we are having it as a part of our general content pack dashboard. So as of now, whatever we are talking about it, these capabilities are provided by this general content pack dashboards. These capabilities or these dashboards or these widgets can be varied from a product to product. Maybe for your VR ops might give us a different metrics. vSAN can give us a different metrics which are very specific to vSAN or vSphere can give us a different metric which could be very specific to vSphere environment. So that's what the power of content pack dashboards, which come up with a lot of intelligence, a lot of fields, a lot of widgets, a lot of um, uh, capabilities coming up with this content pack dashboards. And these content pack makes our VRealize log insight a much more powerful and intelligent tool. Now click on the statistics. And if you click on the statistics, it actually gives us information about unique host logging. So how many host logs are being actually analyzed by this log insight, unique sources. So what all the unique sources we do see that unique event types, total events have been observed as 2000 events and then number of log inside agents because there are no agents are running as of now. That's the reason this particular section is zero unique file logs collected channels collected. This count is zero. And if you look at the syslog agents, that's where it sees that there are four syslog agents and the event count is 2043. So now this particular section gives us uh, information about the events logging in a much more numerical way, which is pretty easy to read about it. The next about is log insight agents. So as you could see that we have not installed any log insight agent in our infrastructure. That's the reason this particular dashboard will not have any information as of now. As you could see that log insight agent events over time is no results. Number of log insight agents, there are no agents are running and that's the reason log insight agent events by host name, events by channel, are mentioned as no results. But as soon as we go and install log insight agent in our infrastructure, we do see that these metrics will start getting populated. Click on syslog agents and look at that. This syslog agents giving us such a pictorial representation about those syslog information with the time series data. So you do see that that's where we do have a time series data that what has happened at this particular duration, what has happened this particular time. And then if you do see that it also gives us widget talking about number of syslog agents, like how many syslog agents are contributing to this particular information. And if you want to know about those syslog agents, look at that. All of our ESXi hosts are actually having a syslog agents. And you could see that this particular host SAESXi01 is contributing a lot in those agent syslog agent events. And we have seen in the event problem section or event type as well that SAESXI01 was having the maximum number of events like around 886. So that's how it gives us that pie chart in a much more pictorial representation way. And if you want to know what all the applications are actually generating or contributing to this particular syslog agent event counts, 
that's where you do see that we have this host d vpxa io filter vpd vm kernel cron d and so on so forth so it gives us not only information about how many syslog agents it gives us information about what are those syslog agents and then it gives us information about which specific application is contributing a lot in those syslog agent events so that's what is all about our general content pack dashboard now let's look at the vr ops content pack dashboard and if you do see that currently vr ops content pack dashboard gives us a lot more new capabilities for example total number of vr ops cluster count of adapters events total number of vr ops nodes over time unique count of nodes per vr ops cluster and and if you look at the left pane also we do have bunch of metrics available which are very specific to vr ops the reason currently we don't see any vr ops cluster specific metric because we have not integrated our we realize log inside with the vr ops product as soon as we integrate both this we realize operation manager and we realize log inside we will do see that all of these metrics will start getting populated so as of now what this particular section is telling us that this default content pack dashboard of vr ops gives us a new metrics new dashboards new event types which are very specific to vr ops but these metrics will get populated only once we integrate our we realize log inside with the vr ops product similarly let's look at the vmware vsan content pack dashboard so click on vmware vsan and look at that now this particular content pack dashboard gives us a lot of information about vsan specific environment like for example how many operation failures have happened decommissioning configuration failures and you could see like a disk group failures so these are the metrics which are very specific to vsan as of now it says that number of vsan host found is zero there are no user world events there is no vmk marking events or no vm kernel events and the reason is pretty obvious because we have not integrated our vsan content pack dashboard with the we realize login site as soon as we start integrating vsan content pack dashboard to our we realize login site appliance we'll do see that all of these metrics will start getting populated but what is what the point but what is the point we are trying to make it here that look at the capability of we realize login site it really help us out in troubleshooting not only our traditional vsphere environment but also vr ops vsan and the other vsphere product environment as well so now as you could see that content pack dashboard is a great way of making our we realize login site much more intelligent much more powerful tool this conclude our lecture on understanding what are content pack dashboards and what are the default view of these dashboards and how these dashboards really help us to identify and troubleshoot issues in our virtual infrastructure we have also seen that once we integrate all of our vr ops vsan or vsphere product to this we realize login site it makes this product much more powerful for analyzing and troubleshooting issues of our virtual infrastructure in the next lecture we are going to talk about what are these custom dashboards how do we go and create our own custom dashboards with our own widgets and then making that particular log inside tool more customizable and tuning up according to our infrastructure